Good morning, children of sixth class. I am your physics ma'am, Rujira ma'am. Today we will study physics. From sixth fifth class, you have studied science. Now, in sixth class, you will study physics. Science is divided into three branches: physics, chemistry, and biology. We will study physics. Now, what is physics? Physics is the subject that study the laws of nature. Now, before we understand the laws of nature, we should see some objects around us, such as table, chair, air, water, your pen, your book. These all objects are different, but one thing is common in them that they all substances are matter. Now, what is matter? And this is our chapter one, matter. Now to understand. what is matter matter a thing that occupies space and has mass now to understand this matter we will perform some activities first what i have said ki a thing that occupies space and has mass first activity to show that solids and liquids have mass children see this figure in this figure this is a spring balance and this spring balance when the school will reopen i will show you in the laboratory this is a spring balance in which a scale is given over here this is a scale here it is a hook these are the strings now take an old plastic bottle cut into two parts how you will make these beakers these are the two beakers take a old plastic bottle cut it into two parts make a beaker shape pot from the lower part tied to the strong thread now these are the thread in such a way that it makes a suspension loop now suspend these beakers from the hook these are the hook of a spring balance this these are spring balance and now note the weight of the beaker first beaker this beaker is empty beaker note the weight of the empty beaker now in the second beaker fill the sugar sugar you can fill you can take salt also any solid thing you can take and now note the weight what you will observe you will observe that the spring balance shows more weight now in place of sugar you can take milk also that is liquid you can take water you can take what you will see you will see that the spring balance shows less weight as compared to the previous instance when you have used the sugar means it will show it will also show weight now from this experiment what we have concluded we have concluded that solids and liquids have weight and hence have a mass now let us perform the no. second activity which shows that gases have mass see this figure children make a simple balance how you will make a simple balance take a ruler these are the threads the this is hanger take us make a ruler and a string tie one end of the piece of string to the center that is at uh, near about 6 inch mark tie the other end of the hanger so that the ruler hangs horizontally this shape is horizontal shape now take two balloons blow both of the balloons tie them tie one balloon uh, near about at 1 inch and tie the other balloon at 11 inch now adjust the string so that it makes the ruler level and the balloon balanced now you can see from the figure the air takes up space and exerts pressure on the sides of the balloons now burst one of the balloons with a pin or needle to allow the air to escape and observe what happens the ruler will tilt down towards the balloon that still the uh, contains air this is because the balloon containing the air has more mass 
than the empty balloon now from this uh, investigation we conclude that air has weight and hence has mass now coming to the third activity in third activity we will show that solids and liquids occupy space see this figure take a glass stopper this is glass stopper tie it with a fine thread take a overflow jar children this is overflow jar what is overflow jar a overflow jar is a jar which is provi provided with a spout this is spout this is a beaker place a overflow jar on a wooden block this is wooden block and slowly pour water into it till the water just starts flowing see you can see from the figure just starts flowing through its spout take a beaker and place under the spout of the overflow jar now gently lower the glass stopper into the water in the overflow jar till it gets completely immersed now what you will see the glass stopper will occupy space and push the water out of the overflow jar now remove the glass stopper from the overflow jar and pour the water collected in the beaker into the overflow jar what you will notice you will notice that overflow jar is filled till the level of its spout thus we conclude that solids and liquids occupy space the water also occupies space as the water collected in the beaker fills the overflow jar till the level of its spout so this investigation show that solids and liquids occupy space next to show that liquids and gases occupy space see this figure children see this figure take two empty glasses these are two empty glasses and a bucket this is a bucket of water fill it with water turn a glass upside down now from the figure you can see and then push it into the water in the bucket about 2 by 3rd of the glass remain unfilled means unfilled without water due to the air trapped you can see the air trapped in the glass which does not allow water to rise up in the glass thus we can say that air occupies space now bring the second glass in the water in a similar manner and keep it near the first one tilt the first glass see see the position of the glass tilt the first glass gently and let the air from that escape into the second glass see here this figure what you will notice you will notice that the bubbles of the air rush out from the first glass to the second glass bubbles of air from the first glass take place in the second glass thus it is observed that the first glass gets filled with water while the second one the volume of air increases now from this investigation we conclude that liquids and gases occupy space start now children i have given the assignment question 1 explain with the help of an activity that number 1 solids and liquids have mass number 2 gases have mass number 3 solids and liquids occupy space number 4 liquids and gases occupy space children you have to draw the diagram also do it in your physics notebook and when the school will reopen i will check your work thank you children